Hey guys, Stefan Doe here. Just bringing you all the side quests available in Chapter 8, Final Fantasy 15. Let's get right into it. First head to the restaurant in the center of Lestalo and start the hunt, Help Needed and Exernius. This will lead you back to the power plant. Defeat all the Garcha Messera in the area. They are weak against swords, shields, fire, and light. Go back to Lestalum to complete the hunt. Now go to the area southwest of the Disk of Kothis. There you will find a woman in need of a potion. Give her one to complete, racked with anxiety. Now go to the area where you did the Behemoth Undertaking. There you will find a man in need of a potion. Give him one to complete, the Faint of Heart. Now start Cindy's mission, the Ever Valorious Rogalia. This will lead you south of Vesperpool. Just pick up the supercharger beside the old car. Go back to Cindy to complete the quest. The new upgrade will increase the top speed of the regalia. Now if you are in Camp Kaum, Prompto will ask to take a picture. Agree to take the picture to complete the photo op Beacon. When you first talk to Iris, you will deliver the flowers you picked for her. This will give you the Moogle charm, which will increase the experience of anyone wearing it. Don't forget the magic flask sitting in front of the fridge. Talk to Iris again, and she will ask you to plant some carrots. Go to the area and plant your seeds. Come back next morning to pick your carrots and complete the quest Living Off the Land. You will meet Tony after, and he trades rare items for carrots. You can only plant carrots once a day, and if you do it too often, you get less carrots, so be careful. Now talk to Talcott and he'll want you to find some Cactar statues. First go to Wish Chocobo Station to find the yellow statue. When walking through Les Stalum, you'll see the blue statues on display. Go to the antique shop and go ahead and buy the blue Cactar. Return to Talcott to complete Crazy About Cactars. Now head west of the Formoth Garrison to find and complete the photo op Battlefield. When walking by the noodle shop in Lestalum, you'll start the quest The Perfect Cup. I chose shrimp, and it seems you can only choose one ingredient per playthrough of the game. Choosing something else will lead to another scenario. Talk to the local tipster to find the ingredient location. Defeat the Carlbos. It is weak against swords, pole arms, and ice. Find the nearest camp and enjoy your new cup of noodles, and complete the perfect cup. Now head right behind the building of the main quest location and you'll find your feline friend. Talk to Monica and she will explain to buy cat food or catch a fish. Head to the shop by the Camp Kaum parking spot and you can buy cat food for 20,000 gil or buy the Deadly Waters Coral Devil Lure to catch a fish. Go to the fishing spot west of Camp Kaum and catch a fish. Give it to Monica to prepare, and deliver it to the cat to complete a feline feast. Now head south of Capitus Haven. There you'll find a man in need of a potion. Give him one to complete Blame the Beasts. Now when driving to the Rock of Rabato, Prompto will ask to take a picture. Agree to take a picture to complete the photo op Volcano. Now go to the Merrillwood Dungeon to make camp inside the area. At night, Ignis will ask for a favor. In the morning, he'll take you further into the dungeon to get his glasses from a black chocobo. All you have to do is sneak up behind the chocobo by pushing square any time he turns around. This dude is blind. Once you have the glasses, just run away or fight if you really want to to complete Case of the Stolen Specs. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. There's more to do before you complete the chapter, so expect that video soon. See you next time, and keep gaming till the end.